Okay, everyone. Welcome back to the finale of Like a Dragon Infinite Well. Let's keep pushing forward here in Millennium Tower. <laughs> Doing better than I thought. Got some we rankings up. We're close. Moment. We're close to maximum rank here with everybody. And uh, this is where we came from. And he oh, there's an item back there. I missed it. A dragon binding? Eh, I think we already had that, if I remember correctly. I'm almost positive we already have that. Oh, I don't need job experience anymore, actually. Yeah, we maxed it. Uh, yeah, so dragon binding. Max HP increases by 100. Eh, probably don't want that. Let me find something that'll buff him nicely. A uh, 30 damage upgrade? Maybe I'll do the 30 damage upgrade. What else do we got? Nullifies curse and instant KO. That could be good because I certainly don't want to be instant KO because it would end the whole game. Might go for that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. That way he can't be instantly KO'd and we'll never just instantly lose a fight at the end here. Imagine if there's an enemy at the end that instant KOs you. Oh, come on. I can do the whole thing over. Where the hell did it go? What was it called? There it is. Curse Substitute. Okay. That I'll keep. All good? Yeah, this is all good. Okay. The real Millennium Tower is in San Francisco. Well, that's what they call it, but this one has been in the game for ages. Game's going good, Jinx. We're a uh, pretty awesome finale so far. I like how we had that little, uh, that little cameo fight with the old crew from from Yakuza showing up to help the floor before, and uh, now it's epic music playing as we do these final tough fights. It's really, really good, really well done so far. You guys are just walking back and forth, chilling up here. Oh yeah, this is the final sequence, Jinx. This is it, final fights and the final boss and then the ending, so we are right here at the end of the game. Here we go. How about some jellyfish juice? Always what you thought Kiryu would be doing in his final fights, throwing jellyfish at people, right? I mean, it's definitely where the games were going. <laughs> Nama just completely ignored that combo opportunity. Level up! Dude, what do you say? I'm in good shape? <laughs> Complimenting himself. Oh god, it's back. It's back! Mm. Ah, shit, our old friend's back. We won't stand a chance if they start blasting again. <laughs> All right, no turning back now. We'll take cover when we need to keep moving. I guess we're supposed to take cover when he comes up. Yeah, I see. Can't hit me. I'm over here, sucker. <laughs> sucker. All right. Another whole, uh, group. Uh, I like the crossovers, of course. I like having, like, judgment characters in this and everything. It's neat. It ties the universes together. It makes it feel like one, one big world as opposed to separate, separate stuff, you know? I wish the judgment guys had a bigger role. You know? They really had a, a very small role. Oh, come on, you one hit, one stinking hit to finish him. Let's go. 
combo. Look at this. Hammer time, and I missed the block. Shit. Another giant hammer smash, and I missed the block again. There's like a slight delay at the end of it. <laughs> Here we go. Combo. Derek says the enemies have red eyes. Well, probably the way of showing that they're super powered to the end. I got an ultra rocket launcher. I wonder if we'll even use it. We haven't used any of those items at all during the playthrough. Not a single one. A chocolate banana crate? That sounds delicious. I love one. Very challenging, honestly. The fights, the fights are fine. That chopper thing is kind of silly. Really, no point to it. Another fight. You still fear. Wow, you really made me scared. Allow me. For the knockout, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, why didn't you toss him into the other guys? <laughs> Stay with fear. Watch this. <laughs> the beast, the Jin feast. <laughs> Ouch. Gory. A gory impalement. Here we go. Oh my god, he got her again! Another gory impalement! Will I be playing Sandland in April? I'll be honest, I know nothing about it. I didn't look into it yet. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all the games coming out soon uh, during my birthday event. And from there we'll make judgments, but I have to look into the game. I don't even know what it is. Is it an RPG? I think it is, right? If it is, probably a no. Our next RPG is Dragon's Dogma, and I'm not doing multiple RPGs at once again because it was a disaster this time around. Again with the fear? Come on. We just got the fear out of here. It only hit Sayako this time. Wait a minute, he's trying it too? Okay, didn't work. Okay, he's done. Here you with the finish. Beautiful. I don't know how to block that. I tried. Oh, come on, we're gonna start with this bullshit again? Apparently so. Yeah, wow, this is fair. He really has it out for Sayako, and no one else can hit him. Even she can't fucking hit him. Nothing's gonna work, I don't think. He's gonna evade, watch. Yep. I don't know how to hit him, he already had high evasion. Unless we have a move that uh, uh, ignores that. Hmm. Here, never misses and ignores the enemy's guard. It can't miss. 
There you go. That's what we needed. Guard slam. Or a grand slam. Never misses. Screw your agility, bitch. Flatten his ass. What's funny is that was definitely one of the harder fights, and the game didn't even, like, treat it like it was. It was, like, no good reward. Let's get going. Okay. Ooh. Chopper is still here. Serious fruit. Ha! Got the cover. In here. Should I open it? John Evers' rush style works good on the dodging enemies. Nope. A sacred steel helmet. Look at this damn thing. I already have a rainbow hat. Is the sacred steel helmet better? Uh, no. No. Not really. Oh, it's gonna be... The cyber helmet sucks, so this is gonna be better, I think, right? Yeah, but it increases your critical hit rate by 10%. Screw it. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. Cypress TV says, not much coming in April or May, but in June you have Luigi's Mansion, Super Monkey Ball, the Elden Ring DLC. Oh, yeah. I know I know that June is going to be huge, but I haven't really seen the schedule for the rest. We'll have to take a look. It's fine, because if there's not that much coming out, we could use those months to play catch-up on stuff we missed during RPG Overload, right? Great. Now we got a goddamn SWAT team. What the hell are they doing here? Yeah, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, these guys have insane health. Ugh, this is gonna be a pain. What? He didn't bounce? Okay. He didn't bounce, sure. Wow, these guys are insane tanks, man. Well, now she's in rage and will only attack him. Here we go. Problem. This is ultimate now. I got a guard break. Here we go. In the grappler. You're kidding me! Paralyzed now of all times. Have fun with this. Only hit the one? God damn it. No, hit the other guy. Hit them both. Okay. This sucks. I get my ultimate and I get paralyzed. You're just begging. Hope you're ready. Stabbed him in the toe. You're healing each other now? Oh my god. Yeah. Watch this. Spin and heal. God damn it. We're gonna have to heal. Much better. I should heal first. Get serious. Yep, no group attack available here. Ugh. You're gonna be He's still paralyzed? Good lord. Check this out. Been paralyzed for like three turns. <laughs> Ha! 
Uh, now he's paralyzed. Jesus Christ. Finally, he's not paralyzed. Well, goddamn time. Yo, he's doing no damage. To like low Hope health. Right. It's so these guys have so much health. It's absurd. Try this on the side. Artist, He's healing. Oh my God! What's up, Red Bandit? Thanks for the super chases. Finally, the weekend ready for stream. Oh. He missed? Oh my god. Oh good. Well, I'm gonna heal us here. Have some food. Nice brofe. They're all separate, so I can do no group attacks whatsoever. Oh, man. I'm gonna do Mask of Punishment, because then he'll get extra hits between the turns. This guy keeps fucking healing. We're never gonna win if he keeps fucking full healing. He full healed him. What the shit, dude? there and kill him. Oh my god, he fucking dodged. Unreal. He still didn't die. Finally. Fuck, man. Getting ridiculous. Don't get carried away. Back in the game. Watch this. This is the worst. Have fun with this. Okay. Oh. Do something. Try this on his side. This fight's insane, man. Everyone's a fucking crazy ass tank in this. Ooh. Okay, uh. You focus. Oh, this one has defense down. I didn't even realize. That's what I should have been focusing on then. Shit. Try and stop. <laughs> Almost dead. Watch this. Yes, two down. Oh, quantum flux. You want to fight? His defense is raised. Seriously. Thank you, Jinxes. I know the, the new emotes have been improved, and they're pretty darn good, are they not? I think they're fun. 
I'm glad you like him. Oh man, I need. Is there a thing that lowers? Ignores the enemy's guard. Essence of pistol. All right. It's over. I need something to lower defense. I don't think I have anything. What's the hold up? Lowers their defense. Here we go. Lower the goddamn defense. Okay, it was reduced at least. Anything else lowers defense? No, I have nothing to lower defense here. He's basically taking half damage. Went away. Wow, five perfect blocks? This is pretty good. Here we go. You're going to regret this. Alright. Seriously. He still didn't die. Alright, no. finish him now, please. What a fight, dude. What's up, Gabriel? How are you? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, everyone, here for the conclusion. Oh, we just did. I think we just got all the ultimate abilities. Moving up in the world. Essence of a masked medium. See what that is? Essence of sexy jutsu. We haven't seen that yet. Good lord. Oh my god, it's not over. The sequence is not over. Wow. No, oh, he throws it at the fucking chopper. Wow. Woo! Okay, do we have a, a moment to breathe? Hmm. I think we did it. I think we can have a moment to breathe. Maybe a, a little recovery or saving or... Yes! Yes, exactly what I wanted. I wonder if we're into the finale now. All right, let's save, and I have a uh, shout shout outs to do here. You okay? So first of all, Red Bandit, thank you for that two dollars super chat earlier. Let's get you up on the leaderboard because I did not have the ability to get you up there earlier. Thank you, Red Bandit. Then I received an incredibly generous contribution. A $100 tip for Jinx. He says, ending hype vest hype. Can't wait to get past all the RPGs. I'm really looking forward to Elden Ring DLC coming up. Are you going to try the new Luigi's Mansion? Are there any big upcoming events? Um, First of all, I'm actually going to bring back Elden Ring soon. Not the DLC, of course. It's not out till June. But I need to get into the position where I can be ready for it. So probably within the next week, I'm going to start playing Elden Ring again, I'm thinking. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. As for the new Luigi's Mansion, it's not really new. It's a remake of the one that they made for 3DS, so technically it's Luigi's Mansion 2 just on consoles now. And uh, it's a maybe. I, I liked the last Luigi's Mansion. We'll have to see you know, what else is going on. And you said, what's the next big event? My birthday event. My birthday is one week from tomorrow, and we're doing a marathon during that day <clears throat> where I'm doing all kinds of stuff, including doing the schedule update so I know exactly what games are coming out and what I'm playing. So we're also going to have some booze, some food. Uh, we're going to do a special react event where I go back and react to my biggest videos of all time in my now almost 16 year history on YouTube. That's going to be neat. Um, as well as other things, maybe a tier maker too. So yeah, cool marathon coming one week from today on April 6th, my actual birthday. So we have hit our goals. First poll is going to be for a hat. So, which hat is RPG Overload best? 
the Los Santos cap, the beret, the red fedora, or the cowboy hat. There you go. And then after that, we'll do a vest pull. Well, let's do the hat pull first. Thank you so very much, everyone supporting the stream today. And thank you, Jinx, for that insanely generous tip. Okay. So, will this take us to the finale? We're about to find out. This is it. This is a mess. Happy now. You're right on time. As I'd expect, Kiryu-san. Welcome to Bleach Japan. Gee, thanks. <laughs> you know, I get this place is just another front for you, but still. Little on the drab side, don't you think? <laughs> as long as it keeps people from sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. And why care? I'm done with Palakana. It was only a matter of time before that deal ran its course. What? Well, surely it was obvious. Nele Island, the disposal site. It was nothing but a cheap hole in the ground. The cave would naturally fill up at some point, which would mean, of course, pollution. It wouldn't work. Even with influence over the other countries involved, eventually the truth would come out. Frankly, I'm not sure what Bryce was thinking. <laughs> Whether the truth remained hidden or not was of little consequence in the grand scheme of things. It was destined to fail, and nothing could have changed that. <laughs> so, what? You don't care? Then why? Why do any of this? Much as it pains me, my own aspirations were never meant to be. Ebina, where's Sawashiro? Why he's right here. <laughs> Sawashiro. Ebina, you bastard. What are you all so angry about? He's done the same to others countless times, has he not? Time and time again. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. I merely gave him what he rightly deserved. And I of and a course, two. there's also those on Nele Island. They'll receive due punishment as well. What's your problem? What do you have against the Yakuza? <sighs> Why ask what you already know? My mother, as you learned, was the Hikawa Patriarch's daughter, Yuriko Hikawa. And my father, just as you surmised, was Masumi Arakawa. Regardless of whatever her father intended, my mother loved Arakawa with all her heart. On the other hand, she also knew that the man harbored deep feelings for another woman. Thus, she felt both joy and guilt. Indeed, she was engaged, but it was undeniably a mixed blessing. Perhaps if she bore their child, Arakawa couldn't ignore that. Surely his feelings would sway. Wishful thinking on her part. And then you came into the picture. Correct. But before the pregnancy came to light, Hikawa came under Arakawa's wrath. The family was destroyed. My mother was always frail, you see. Once she had me, the burden of raising a child alone was too much. A Yakuza's bonds are thicker than blood, we were told. <sighs> foolish words from foolish people. <laughs> they never gave my mother a chance. When Hikawa died, the family went with him. I watched his men scatter like the rats they are. And yet... Please don't hate them. Not your father. Not any of them. Those were her last words. She was a fool too, it seems. Betrayed by the man she loved, used by her own father, and tossed aside by those who called her family. If not her, if she couldn't take revenge, then why on earth shouldn't I? <clears throat>
A long time to plot. That's when this started. You wanted to make the Yakuza pay. That's right. Still, you said it yourself just now. Your aspirations were never meant to be. <laughs> How could they be? What would I have done? There's too many of you to count. Do I go around killing them one by one? Believe me, I would if I were able. <sighs> Everything I've accomplished, why, it was simply the next best thing. A compromise, you might say. Honestly, it's been a long road. I first tried to eradicate your kind as a police officer. But you were one step ahead of me. Your great dissolution scattered you all to the wind. And that wasn't all. In the confusion that followed, Masumi Arakawa went and got himself killed. That's when I realized vengeance would never be mine. That snake. I wanted to wring his neck myself. <gasps> Masumi Arakawa. It's true he was loved among the Yakuza, oh yes. But all I see is the wretch who left my mother to die. It was pretty messed up. <laughs> he basically did absolutely nothing to help this family of his that he created, you know? Arakawa, a lot of people respect him in the plot, but he doesn't... When, when you hear all, all the stuff he's involved in, he certainly was no angel, man. Uh, okay, let's get the cowboy hat going, and then we'll get a pull for the vest, because this obviously is going to be an insanely long uh, cutscene before we actually get to the boss fight. <clears throat> so, cowboy hat won. And let's do a poll for Vast. Well, let's see. I just wore the denim vest recently, so no denim. We'll do the McFly. We'll do the gold. We'll do a camo, and we'll do... The gray, if you're wondering why no puffy vest, because it's very hot in here. I'm already sweating just sitting here playing this game because the sun is beating on the wall. So I need to wear lighter vests today. I can't do a heavy vest. I'll be I'll be profusely sweating here, <clears throat> which is not very healthy. Uh, all right. Oh, for those who missed the podcast earlier today, I uh, my body's all sore because my wife and I had a very long day out yesterday, like over eight to nine hours. We were out and about doing stuff like grocery shopping and errands and carrying stuff around and driving around and walking around. I'm just not used to that level of activity. I sit around on my ass all day playing video games or streaming with you guys. My body wasn't used to it. By the time we got home around 9 p.m., I was so sore and tired. And even after sleeping, my whole body today is still freaking sore. Like, oh my god. So, oh, I'm enjoying the finale of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, but I'm sitting here, my back is throbbing. Like, oh. Okay, let's keep going. Ichiban Kasuga's reverence for him is a joke. A sick mockery of my life. Hey, there you go. Kasuga's blind as they come. <laughs> He's no different than those that Bryce fooled. Another Palakana pig suckling its shit. You son of a... <sighs> anyway, my dream to strike back at Arakawa had clearly been denied. It took a good deal of time to recover, but I knew I needed a new plan. So I set sights on the Yakuza freed in the dissolution. All those years preying on those weaker than them, and now they wanted an honest life? Their dream would be as futile as mine. And it dawned on me. So what if they're scattered? I'll just round them up. The Tojo and the Omi might have disbanded, but not the Seryu clan. I baited new recruits however I could. A new Yakuza life? Fine. A cushy seat in society? But of course. Sure enough, they came marching in by the droves. Ants! trickling in at the promise of sugar. <laughs> if they only knew how stupid they looked. Tch. 
Oh. No later than that, I began thinking of a way to get rid of them all. When from Bryce comes a special business venture courtesy of our very own A.G. By then, they'd already secured an L.A. island with Fujinomiya shipping as the means of transport. They just couldn't find the manpower. Now, they were dealing with radioactive material, so that was only natural. But to me, well, it all sounded very convenient. Those stooges in the Serio clan, I knew just what to do with them. It was clear as day. I could make them suffer, subject them to far more than just unloading waste. Nele Island is effectively a giant black box. There'd be no running away, no refuge from their pain. Wow. Their cries would never escape the island. It's just crazy because the whole game you think, oh, he has a nefarious plot where he's amassing an army and he's going to try to take over Japan or something. No, he literally just wants to punish Yakuza because he hates them so much. So he did everything he did didn't actually make any logical sense. He's just trying to make people feel pain who he hates. That's pretty crazy. He went to this length. You know, I totally thought there was, oh, there's a nefarious plan where I did this and this. No. It's like I just did all this fucked up stuff to fuck with people as hard as I could. Wow. They'd be at my whim, wouldn't they? What a gift the island turned out to be. Like an ant lion's trap, before long, it would drag them all to hell. <laughs> AG proved more valuable than I thought. Nele Island wasn't all he brought me. I haven't told you, have I? No. What's he talking about now? AG's the one who <clears throat> figured out the truth behind Chairman <clears throat> Hoshino's murder. Wait, what? While at Bleach Japan, he learned much about Ryo Aoki. Or perhaps I should call him Masato Arakawa. <laughs> Your yes, half brother. That hit on Hoshino was a ruse. Sawashiro was, for all intents and purposes, innocent in the affair. Amazing what a little leverage can do. He joined the Serio without hesitation. Right. And then you had Eiji's web skills. Tatara Channel was your ace in the hole. Indeed it was. Well, I suppose that's enough. It's almost ironic, wouldn't you say? Masumi Arakawa leaves two sons behind. One who worships the ground he walks on, and the other who spits on his grave. <laughs> One works to rehabilitate the Yakuza, and the other, in all his hatred, sends them to their doom. We are mirror images, he and I. Yes, I'm gonna be honest, it's weird that Kasuga didn't get this fight. Why didn't Kasuga take out Abina? It would have been, I think, more fitting. But I think they wanted Kiryu to have the epic finale because it's his last game, supposedly. So, kind of weird. You're not wrong there. But Abina, there's one thing you might add to that. Care to guess what it is? <laughs> Go on. You said the nuclear waste project was a compromise for taking revenge on the Yakuza, right? You said it was impossible to go after all of them. Ichiban's different. <laughs> a moron. He seriously tried to give every one of them a normal life again. He sat there day after day, no matter how impossible it might have seemed. <laughs> Hot dog. I wish Ichiban could have heard all that. <laughs> Tell him and I'll knock your lights out. Ebina, it's clear you're angry. I won't deny you that. I wouldn't have the right. It was a different time. But when I was chairman of the Tojo, I had a chance. I could have changed the Yakuza for the better. I should have. But I did no such thing. Uh, kiryu -san. Still, this has to end. I can't just sit back and watch as you burn it all to the ground. It's up to me to stop you. And believe me, I will. I'm gonna set this right. The sins of the Yakuza are mine. And if I have to, 
I'll take on every last one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. How very noble of you. Come on, you forget what we said downstairs? You and a lone wolf routine, I swear. Yeah, seriously. Now let's finish this together, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <sighs> we're, we're, wait a minute. Well then, they were all standing right next to each other. All of a sudden, for that dramatic scene, they're all walking towards each other. You were right next to each other. Where did you... When did you separate to walk back together? What's going on here? <laughs> let's begin. Kazuma Kiryu is about to make his final stand. And at the Millennium Tower, no less. What could be more fitting? Whoa, what the hell is that? I have no idea, like an Omi yeah. demon or something? I was thinking the same thing. Time to die. Kazuma Kiryu! Alright, finally. Shirts off means it's the last fight. Oh, <laughs> you're watching them. Wow, you all suck. You're all terrible. What terrible fighters. Alright. Spout your ideals all you want. You're still Yakuza. That's all you'll ever be. What's the hold up? Give your turn to an ally. What about? Oh, we didn't do this. Damage the enemy with the deceptive substitutions that he possibly. Oh, it's a. It's a. That's not what it is, is it? It is. That's her final one. So all it is, it's a grapple break. Ah, uh, it's a. It's a grapple break that may charm. So it's not damaging at all. So if he blocks or guards, we'll use it. But outside of that, there's no point to using it. I want to see if I had anything to like down his or down his stats, but I don't think this boosts agility. This uses agility buff, but you need to have high agility. You see, it's high to extreme. This also could boost your agility. All right, I guess we're gonna keep using Throat Slitter multiple times, and then we'll try to use Shadow Clone Jutsu, which is supposed to be a big payoff after the fact. Oh, it says he's weak. He's weak to, to knives. That's good. Abina's tattoo represents an ox head demon that escorts you to the underworld. Well, that's an interesting piece of trivia. Throat Slit and a follow up. Here we go. If I have anything that will that will lower his stats. Let's do it. This ignores the enemy's guard. Lower, okay, might lower their attack. Let's try this. Time to put you down. It did. Cool. I'm gonna try to use as many stat things as we can. What? Lower their defense. Did I? And it worked. Okay, good. Here's the what? The Mulahara? Oh, she's asleep. Yeah. All right, he's already in defense. We need a grapple break. Let me guess, he doesn't have one. He doesn't huh. fucking have one. All right, then we're gonna do Malodorous Stench. What's this? Nice. Okay. Turtle Torment. Wow, he really doesn't like Sunhi. Ha <laughs> ha! He missed twice. All right. We're gonna keep using. Oh wait, we gotta break guard break. We're gonna do the stupid sexy jutsu and guard break again. Yeah. Oh my god, that's straight out of. That's also straight out of Naruto. Now a lot of her things are Naruto parodies. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, a piece of wood. Oh my god, ultimate foul driver. Mind like one. 
There you go. That's a guard break. All right. So now, let me boost your agility. Boost your agility. Ignores the enemy guard. Does she have anything else that will lower his uh, stuff? Yeah. Deco decrease attack and magic. Noisy racket. Wow. Nice. Allow me. Wanna play, do we? Insta stun. Or their attack again. Keep lowering all the stats. Guilty conscience. Intimidates cure you. I'm enraged. Oh, I was gonna use my ultimate and I can't. Okay. All right, so he's like super debuff. Have fun with this. Look at that. Okay, his attack can't even go any lower. You're going to regret this. Get him in his ass with a chair. Beautiful. Now your suffering's only <laughs> just begun. All right. I don't know how good my agility buff is right now. Whoa, that did giant damage. The higher your HP, the more damage you inflict. Ah, oh, shoot. Well, I don't have high HP. Through soul predation, he's weak to the night. Watch this. Got some healing. That was nice. Would take. I'm on a roll. Let's go. Does she have a guard break? She does. Throat slitter. In for the kill. Two percent. I don't think this is it. I think he's gonna have more than this though. This doesn't seem too tough. <laughs> Oh shit! Almost wasn't ready. Yeah. Ah, second form. Let's settle this once and for all. Oh, now he's resistant. Well, let's try Shadow Clone Jutsu then. That sucked. And now he heals too, so now he's resistant. Oh, he got rid of all the debuffs too. Oh my god, wow. This sucks. All the debuffs are gone. Can we debuff him again? Right? Let's see if it works. I have shoutouts to do, but obviously we're in the middle of the final boss fight, guys, so if you give me a second here. Alright. Yes, it does work. Okay. Okay. Have fun with this. Ooh. I'm gonna heal. Yeah, I'm gonna heal us all. Hopefully this gets uh Namba, Nanda, uh, Na Nanda, Namba. <laughs> well, we get to Namba, but it didn't, go. of course. All right, we can finally use the ultimate, but I have some shout outs to do. So, first of all, Andreas did a super chat saying, Will I continue Final Fantasy? As I said, I'm not doing it right now because we're doing Dragon's Dogma as the next RPG. We may do it in the future. I explain all of this on the podcast. You can rewind the stream right now if you want to watch that. If not, it'll be on demand later today. Uh,. Tegan did a super chat says you can try mukbang or ASMR stuff on your podcast. We're actually doing a feasting with Phil next weekend on the uh, the uh, birthday bash marathon. Um, I'm going to eat a meal live together. Uh, I received a $10 tip. Have you considered incorporating mukbang into your podcast streams? This is exactly the same thing, right? <laughs> Is this the same person, maybe? I don't know. It's a $10 tip saying mukbang. Well, all right. Thank you for the tip. We just addressed that. 
And uh, I guess I'll get the vest on. You guys voted for the, Mc the Marty McFly vest. So allow me to get that. And, uh, and then we'll continue here with the final boss. I'm happy we kept the Like a Dragon animations for so dang long. Because here we are in the finale of Like a Dragon and we still have the animation. It's pretty cool. Alright, let me get the McFly vest and then we continue with this fight. Oh. Dude. Okay, Derek, I'll see you later. You. All right, ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Ultimate. After this, we'll probably use Dragon God over and over. Wow, won't let me do the combo. Now it works. I don't know why you bounced out of it like that. That sucks. <laughs> Fall from grace. Well, he just fucked us up. I'll take one. I'm on a roll. Let's go. In for the kill. He fucked us up with that, man. <laughs> All right. More debuff. Maelstrom of hate. I block like nothing. What? Watch this. All right, now he's really debuffed. Now we gotta heal. Wanna play? Ready for the knockout? Thanks, Kiryu. You know, she really doesn't have anything. He's resistant to all knife attacks. Something wrong? I guess we'll try Hellhide and see what happens. Talk about Nothing, pretty much. Wow. Responsibility. You disgust me. She never maxed. Damn, she never got her ultimate. I just realized she never got her ultimate. Oh, he's weak to gun attacks? I didn't know. Let's see the animation. I didn't realize he was weak to gun attacks. Crap, I would have been using those. <laughs> Heads up, bro. That reminds me of Shaolin Soccer. You ever seen that movie Shaolin Soccer? That does a pretty good damage. Here we go. Okay. Essence of the Dragon God. Time to shut it down. Yeah. Gonna heal again, fucker. And he got rid of his debuffs again, you piece yeah. of shit. <laughs> I think it's time to start using my best items, right? God, where is it? Your status ailments and 200 MP to the entire party. Sounds like a plan. I'm on roll. Let's go. the hold up? Try to this. All right. Allow me. All too soon. Let's do it. 
Essence of Remembrance. We do all the special attacks for the final fight. Remember, remember Kiryu, remember your roots, remember where you come from. All the legends. If you want to die. Nice. So good. Remember your old voice actor? You didn't have an English voice actor. You're going to regret this. Something wrong? Another diva. All right. Hope you're ready. Better heal. Okay. Try this on the side. I'll be your baby. This on the face. Okay. Okay. Essence of Max Medium. I want to see it. We haven't seen it yet. The final Pyro Dancer ability. Look at this. It's Majora's Mask. He puts on Majora's Mask. Oh my God. Whoa! He goes beast mode. He's supposed to be Blanca. All right. He is. He's Blanca, basically. He resisted it anyway. Here we go. Oh, he's grappling. Okay. Wild sweep, break that grab, break that guard. You ain't going nowhere. <laughs> into the furniture. Oh, I wanted to throw him into the furniture. You didn't do it. You're weak. He's weak to fire. Okay. Like what you see. Cause I'm killing you. Let's go. Working smash! Oh yes, damn! I didn't block once. Son of a bitch. Gaia's red. The ultimate flame attack, which he's weak to. Everyone gets their ultimates in in the final fight. I'm impressing you, aren't I? I practiced this with many different this cheerleaders back at the <laughs> back at the high school. Yes. Volcanic eruptions. Oh! Now he heals again. Fuck. We're so close to finishing it. All right. You know what? I think we're just gonna go all out now. This should be it. That should be it right there. Got him. Okay. Is that the end? Is this the true end? Stop the sword with his hand. Oh my god. He breaks the sword. Wow. Oh shit! The final punch! Super uppercut. Nice. And that's the end of Abina. All right, well, folks, I think that's the end of the combat of the game. Maybe, I may be wrong, but I think that's it. Time to split the part, and the next part will be the final part, the epilogue of the game, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. See you then.